Y'all would I started a terrible. I was gonna say uh Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shum, Yahweh Shai by Shum Rakak with Dash, double honors to the apostles, a great millstone. Uh Shalom to all the Akim. But we out here in Columbus, Ohio again. We about to teach the Bible. That's a crazy angle right here. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. And it's, it's not bad though. Y'all here prophesying the downfall. <laughs> you got any scriptures? Ready? I got some. That's my three just article. All right, go ahead. That's good. About to fire that up too. Oh, you gotta get it off your uh separate pass. We out here with the hop goblin. Seems like the Halloween scene went by quick, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's still here. Yeah, but it's like that's still cool. celebrating. It's still they really do, don't it? This here's going by quick, man. Be a Thanksgiving Day surprise. To find this article. This article is on the next one. Some good shit. You talking about Iran? No, it's talking about the physical part of this. Oh, yeah. Um, Ooh, I got scripture for that. That's what the Lord said. He stole that from the Lord. You know, he's, uh, imitate this title. Bush. Bush. Two best presidents ever right there. George Bush and Donald J. Trump. Yeah, he meant that shit, didn't he? You know George Bush don't like Trump. Well, at least he claims he don't like him. That don't even make no sense. This says the survival of the country is going to depend on this election. He said, as another man stopped and went over to Oregon, the strangers face each other from opposite edges of the great American divide. Democrat version Republican both convinced the election is among the most consequential in their lifetimes and that they must save the nation from the other side. And these people are thinking in their motherfucking minds they're voting against Trump. He's, they actually acting like he's actually on the fucking ballot. I think it mentioned something about that issue. Even though it's not on the ticket, he said. He said, I'm voting for Donald Trump. <laughs> Stuart Cantor said, he's not on the ticket, but in a way, he actually is. Which is true. Yeah. He go, does he need all those senators and uh, representatives to support his ass? Oh. That's why we said, we hope it turns out all we're Republican. We, we need to give Donald Trump all the help he can get. <laughs> you know what I mean? He don't need no opposition. He need nothing but help. You gotta get them missiles going. That's what these stupid ass people out here don't understand. If they were smart, they would go, I mean, the voting's all set up anyway, but they should go vote for Donald Trump if they want to see them missiles coming. Nah, they don't, they don't, they don't, want, they don't, they don't see that's them. what I'm saying. <laughs> we like, I don't think like they want to see missiles. Hey, they're not even thinking about missiles. They think America's gonna be prosperous and great. America ain't gonna be prosperous. Hey, you know the Lord gonna destroy America, right? He looked at me like I was crazy. Over there. How dare you speak ill of my America? That's what he said. The most high gonna destroy America. We gotta put it in there. It's weird though. Walking down the street with a little Apple computer, a little trendy, a little weirdo. Here we go, Micah 7 and 6. No, start of Four. The best of them is as briar, the most upright is sharper than a thorn hedge. The day of thy watchman and thy visitation cometh, 
now shall be their perplexity. Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lies in thy bosom. Meaning the most high is he stressing division and, 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 no, and don't trust. Don't trust none of these motherfuckers. For the son dishonored the father, the daughter rises up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Right, you see politics breaking the family up too, don't you? Hell yeah. But you know what I mean? You may get on Facebook or something, you see people, that's all they do is argue over politics all day. Everybody divided out here. That's good though. Ooh, I got a scripture for that one. He said, mass enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the most high Eight. of my salvation. And you know, the real thing divides people is this Bible. This is, what, this is the real divider right here. Because if you come out here teaching the truth like us, you're going to lose all your friends. Wife might leave you. You know, people are going to think you're crazy. That's good, though. You know, the thing I did when I found the truth, instead of them cutting me off, I cut them off before they even happened. Yeah, that's how you get them. You know, because I recognize they wicked any goddamn way, man. You know? Because when the day of visitation, which we're out here prophesying about, we're out here prophesying about the end of this goddamn sorry-ass fucking country, you know, the Lord's bringing division. He gonna have all you people at your necks, man. That's the Lord's word. He gonna have all you people at your necks. You know? Which is a good thing. Where's that scripture? I just lost one. Here we go, Luke. This is Luke. It's another division. Okay, that was one I was about to get. Luke 12. I got started at 49. I am come. The point is at 51, though. But I got to read 49. Yeah. I am come to send fire on the earth. You know, and all this is leading to all the Americans, America's political. And their foreign affairs, man, is leading to this fire coming, man. A day of great judgment. Damn right. The day judgment. of visitation. Judgment. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I do? What what and what will I if it be already kindled? But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell ye nay. But brother, division. All right, because everybody talking about, oh, the Lord is all love, he's all peace. That's not what the Bible said. The Bible said that the Lord came to bring division. He said, I came to not to bring peace, N-O-T. He said, I did not come to bring peace. I came to bring division. You know, these people out here, they don't know the Bible. They don't know what they're talking about. We're going back to this article. Trump's article, with him or against him. <laughs> this is Trump's day, boy. Trump's day. Hey, you see that that old caravan of migrants? I was watching the live feed. Yeah. Man, I was actually hell watching hell that yeah. shit for like two, three hours this morning. Oh yeah. I was just laying in bed, just watching the migrants walking to America. That's good though. I said Trump is sending troops. Yeah, he's sending them troops. Screw the visa. He saw might cut people off. He might birds. start shooting them down. Mm -hmm. I thought they was gonna look all raggedy though. And then migrants, they was looking, they was dressed fly. They had nice shirts, nice clothes. Backpacks and shit, yeah. phones, they got cell phones. Yeah, I'm like, what is tablets. going on? This don't make, there's something going on here with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, saw, I, saw, I might have still have it. I found an article where someone came out and said they helped funding that, that, um, that caravan. That I, heard, I heard it was Soros. They always say Soros funded There's another name. Yeah, they always say he funded everything, you know. Man, it says President oh, yeah. Donald Trump looms large over Tuesday's election, which is expected to draw historic numbers to the polls and would determine which party controls Congress. Oh. <laughs> for Gregor and Cantor and for voters across the country, the election represents something far greater than whatever Senate or House race appears in the ballot. You know them homosexuals are worried too. They worried that he gonna get rid of the uh, <laughs> faggot marriage. Hey, <laughs> The homosexuals are scared right now. But hell, Trump, he a fucking homosexual. He a big weirdo, look at him. But I hope he put it into all that shit. That would be beautiful, man. Hey, he's not gonna do it. Cause he ain't spoke out against gay marriage once, has he? Not once. Um, it says, it is a competition for the soul of America. If referendum on Trump and his venomous political culture 
that many blame for gridlock in Congress and their reasons for that hate for its impolitical motivated attacks. What's that? I was reading it where it was going into actual attacks on that before I got close. Let me find that story. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I mean, this ain't nothing new. This country's always already been divided anyway. But let's just let's just play this little game with us. Yeah, I almost thought they was gonna do for the Beatles, man. <laughs> right here, look just like a Oh your boy uh just like it. Uh Ringo Starr. Right. <laughs> like I seen Cuba Gooding Jr. Not Cuba, I, I seen Bokeem Woodbine out here. Mm. <laughs> it says less than two weeks ago in this city, a white man gunned down two African American shoppers in a grocery store in what police described as a racial racially motivated attack. Days later, an avid Trump supporter was arrested for mailing pint bombs to prominent critics of the president. And you know, they proved that shit was a setup. You see the videos on that? Mm -hmm. the, the, the post that stamp, the stamp didn't even have, you know how you go to the post office and you know something, they stamp it to say it's a... Uh, right, 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 right. Like, what right. You that shit was fake as hell. But they doing that because, man, these, the average person out here is stupid and retarded. So they going to buy into all this political bullshit and they going to get all mad and angry and they start hating each other over it. That's you called divide it. and conquer. Right, you know what I see coming to? I see them condition these people's minds and start coming after these politicians. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hope so, man. Yeah. That'd be yeah. beautiful. Oh, that's definitely coming. going to be like the French Revolution, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if they got it in them to do that. Oh, it's going to get them matter. Most I going to put it down. They got to take the food stamps away. Some got happy. Yeah, most I going to put that spirit in Some got happy to make them do it. You're damn right. It has to happen. It has to happen. What's that leader in Italy who they hung him and his wife out? Oh, uh, who's the leader? You know they make it Man, that beat the fuck out of that man. Oh, that motherfucker couldn't be recognized. They killed his ass like 50 times. Damn, they could have let the bitch with the motherfucker's wife go, though. Jesus, that's a waste of this. Damn. That's a waste of booty. Damn, he fucked his ass up. <laughs> What's up, bro? Boy, look at looks happy. Oh, that's her boots. Yeah, yeah. Looks happy now. Oh, for real? Uh, it does. Might be all right. <laughs> I go out uh, there. Hey, go blue, man. Go blue. Get talk. Get talk. Wait up. Is that, that the color of a nuclear missile fire or something? <laughs> go blue. Yeah, go missile. Right. You know when it's blue, that means that, that that heat is hot as shit. Yeah, that's hot. You know. Some nuclear missiles, they're fading, coming off. That's all they think about. We talking about the missiles, all they care about is fucking football. Man, ain't that crazy, man? Children. Children, just give them a ball and watch these grown men bounce that motherfucker all day long. Hey, you got motherfuckers who, and they're 40, bro. They really think in their mind, they're delusional. They really think they still got a shot at making the NFL and the NBA. They really think they still going to make it. Sometimes I be thinking I can still make it. 50 something years old, like still that. trying to make it. Yeah. Alright, uh, they still won't be a rapper. I got some I know it's something about that football, because I we watch a little football with a camera. That shit take up too much time. I gotta keep that shit to a minimum. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. That motherfucker football will capture your ass. It will keep you in captivity and have your ass on that couch for hours. Look, this time I know there's a lot, a lot of scripture. These blind ass motherfuckers, but I read this specific scripture like 20 times this week. Jeremiah 6 and 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them as a reproach they have no desire. Damn, what? Yeah, what Jeremiah 6 and 10. Whew. He said their ears are uncircumcised. <laughs> wow. We are here giving y'all good ass information, man. Let's go with you. How you doing? Giving y'all information, the but they ain't trying to hear it, man. It goes in one ear and out the fucking ear. Probably driving a Coda bus. Right, happy ass bus driver. <laughs> right here. Hard, she probably driving a Coda bus. You know they are. Yeah. Shit. That ain't no fucking district. Yeah, that's, that scripture's heavy though. What did it say? Let me read, let me read. It said, wow. He 
said they got un y'all got uncircumcised ears. That means your ears are filthy. You know how you get the uncircumcised penis to get all nasty? I mean, you gotta stay nasty sometimes. Get all stinking, nasty. That's y'all's ears in your mind and stuff. You know what I mean? You got heathen. You got the ears of a heathen. That's what it said. Just, I just clean my big dog's ears out with, um, with um, you know, apple cider vinegar and water. Yeah. Rid of that funky hey, vinegar, smell. vinegar clean everything. Yeah, gets rid of that funky ass smell. I was playing. I clean my toes with it. Yeah, yeah, it's good for it. It yeah. says, "Whom shall I teach you?" It says, "Whom shall I speak and give more?" Well, obviously, these people don't care less about this. That's that a heavy they may hear. Yeah, that they may hear. What did it say? To the what was that last part? To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. So they have no delight in the word of the Lord. It's a reproach. They get mad. That's why people, they be want to fight us when we teach it. Why y'all believe in that bullshit? They get mad. They get mad because we believe. And then they try, they get so mad, they try to stop, like, you know how we out here try to make people believe, they'll come up and try to make us stop believing. It's like, the believe in the Lord is like the worst possible thing you could ever do. You know what I mean? But they don't get mad, if you out here, you a trainee. If we's out here uh, proselytizing for trainees, they ain't had no problem with that. If we's out here smoking blunts, they ain't had no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? But you come out here and teach the Bible, bro, it's a problem to these people. That's a serious problem. Y'all a bunch of heathens. Y'all got uncircumcised ears. Your ears are uncircumcised. That's crazy. That's most high talk of shit. Yeah, that's, talk, that's a serious shit talk. It says. Because think about the actual circumcision. To be uncircumcised is filthy. That's nasty. 